Directional parameters were corrected, but the results still need verification. So, can the stability of the current anchor points be maintained? I've calibrated the orientation device of the space rift. As long as it's not overloaded, there shouldn't be a problem. Oh, greetings, Executor. We have successfully opened the dimensional passage to the Vera region. A squad from the Executor Order has been dispatched to investigate. The Vera region was under the jurisdiction of Hycros's District 7 back before the Cataclysm. The mission this time is to ask you to act as Shirley's guardian as you accompany her to the Vera region. Shirley is keen to find any trace of her brother. You could save yourself a heap of trouble if the locals were willing to help. Ah, well, Shirley still isn't fully stable after all. We need someone we can trust to go with her. I know I really shouldn't trouble everyone with- I heard through the grapevine that the Vera region is the home of the invasive creature called Grayspace Entities. They're a serious threat to the local ecology and human safety. We are currently in discussions with District 7 over how to cooperate in tackling this gray space entities. Dr. Claire has already calibrated the space rift parameters, so you and Shirley are good to go at will. Making such a long distance jump is no easy task. You should prepare yourselves. for asking. Oh, that's good. I was worried that such a long transmission would have some unpleasant effects. What is this place? This is the Silver Coast Research Station under District 7. They've managed to re-establish contact with Asperia with this equipment. We're in Mororia now? Well, this research facility is actually in the north of the Yellow Rock Desert, but Mororia is not too far. I'm Eva, the director of the Silver Coast Research Station. On behalf of District 7, a warm welcome to you both. Arkin Larson has been informed of your arrival, and you are free to travel to Meoria headquarters as you please. However, Technician Baru has detected a potential space-time fluctuation near the research station, which could possibly affect the whole area. To be on the safe side, I'd recommend remaining here until the fluctuations have resolved. I see. Any idea how long that might be? I'm afraid I can't give a clear answer to that right now. Though Budo is actively collecting and analyzing the data, I'll be sure to let you know the second I have any further information.
Not knowing how long I'll have to wait. Pepper, do you know how many executors were dispatched from District 9? Hmm, apart from the Mook Squad that was stationed here a couple of years ago, there was also Meryl, Zero, Huma, and Samir. Oh, and now you, of course. However, everyone's in this super important meeting in Mororia. I think they're discussing the best response to the Gray Space entities. Gray Space entities? We heard Archon Elric mention them t Yep. They're Maroria's biggest problem at the moment. I don't know much about them, though, so... We have some questions, Director Eva. What can I do for you? Ask away, and I'll do my best to answer. The reason for this space-time fluctuation has not been confirmed, but Baru is analyzing all the relevant parameters. It could be an unfortunate side effect of the long-range transmission. Apart from that, a type of powerful gray space entity known as an abyssant has been found able to generate space-time fluctuations. While there have been no relevant eyewitnesses accounts near the facility, we must still prepare for the worst. This is a scientific facility, focused on researching Omnium technology. Due to potential safety issues, it had to be located away from the densely populated Meoria headquarters. Recently, thanks to the gray space entity incursions growing out of control, we have become unable to guarantee the security of the facility. Larson is actively considering relocating key equipment and personnel back to headquarters. The MOOC squad brought us a lot of invaluable insights. And we know that District 9's Omnium Tech research is light years ahead of us. So I'm excited for the possibility of future collaboration. No one knows for certain when those terrifying creatures first appeared. Before Hykros really started paying attention, the gray space entities inflicted huge losses on us. Those enemies have a special ability to traverse space and are extremely aggressive. Nine years ago, the Meoria Council decided to relocate all inhabitants. Five years ago, the Department of Science and Technology initiated a research project on the gray space entity ecology, codenamed Listener. Dr. Eva, we have a situation. The spatial fluctuations are greatly intensifying. It's a temporal anomaly caused by a powerful abyss. This shouldn't be possible. Buru, report to HQ immediately and request support. I'm trying! The fluctuations are generating too much interference. We can't get a clear connection to headquarters. Keep trying. Security close blast doors. Power force field. Activate security droid. Okay. What happened? The cause of this space-time fluctuation is a rare powerful abyss. Get ready for gray space entities assault. But at present, we are unable to contact HQ or request external assistance. If they launch an all-out assault, it would be catastrophic for us. We'll help send them off. Follow me. System warning. Red alert. Red alert. All non-combatants, please go to the nearest safe zone and remain there until further notice. Look over there. The Abyssin Symbiosis! We have to hurry! only repelled them temporarily. Buru's detected several unstable space-time rifts nearby, so this is far from over. Has communication with Meroria been restored? We still have no means of contacting Meroria headquarters. I can only hope that they notice the space-time fluctuations over here. Pepper, you stay here and help defend the facility. I'm going to try to bust out of here with Shirley and go get help from headquarters. 
You sure that's a good idea? We don't have a lot of options. It's the best of a bad bunch. The all-terrain vehicle over there will get you across the desert in a flash.
Shield formation executed. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
you guys all right? I'm Lynn from District 7. What's going on over at the research? I suppose you could say it's still secure. Lynn, it seems that the Abyssant has escaped into the space-time rift. It was wounded, and shouldn't be able to attack us for the time being. Meryl, we'll leave the research station to your team. Yeah. Follow me, execute. Follow me, Ruby. We're here, Mia. Go on up. We're taking a... plane? Ruby, you seem to like little Mia, right? Of course I like Mia. Sure. Get on board with her then. The gateway to Miroria isn't... In response to the Grayspace Entity's threat, the Miroria Security Bureau set up a huge defensive force field on the surface. Right now, the only way in is via the Miroria Skyport. Miss Lynn? Mr. Cowell, do you know where Larson is by any- The Archon is waiting at the Furnace Core site. I am here to welcome you. Allow me, Lieutenant Cowell, to welcome you all on behalf- <laughs> Hello, Mr. Are you okay? Does she always speak like that? Mia's language module has a few errors, which makes her speak like that occasionally. S -s sorry for the t -t 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 trouble Cowell, is Shelly's vacation over? 
Ms. Shelley? I believe she's still got two days, but there's a record showing she was urgently recalled to headquarters this morning. Something about helping with equipment. Oh? Seems we might be in luck. Shelly is Mororia's technical consultant. I just hope she hasn't left headquarters. Follow me, please. Here in Vera needs suppressors. The Tower of Fantasy here was severely damaged in the Cataclysm. Unable to provide steady Omnium, we had to give it up. Later on, one of our Archons came up with some tech that dramatically increases the body's resistance to Omnium radiation. Over the years, the levels of Omnium radiation have shown a marked decline in the Vera region. People no longer need to rely on various support devices to survive. That is the Vera Tower of Fantasy. All of Meroria is built around it. Is that... Lynn? Oh yes. She is quite the idol in many young Viren's eyes. She single-handedly defeated a powerful Abyssin not that long ago. Ahead is the District 7 headquarters. Please, this way to Archon Larson. Looking good, Lynn. Shelly, what are you doing here? Uh, no need to feign surprise. Cowell sent a message saying you were looking for me. I'd be long gone otherwise. Well then, I'm very grateful that you stuck around. Well, it was the acclaimed and admired Lynn requesting my help. Help? Hmm. How about a VIP meal at Oasis? Well, the food over there is good. I'll... Ten meals. That should suffice. Ha-ha! Then we have a deal. All right, so tell me what you need me to... These are two guests from District 9. They have a smart servant, Mia, with a damaged language module. Oh? A District 9 smart servant? Where? Mia, don't you like strawberry cream donut... <laughs> Chocolate. Huh? Our little friend looks really happy. Miss Shelley, do you really think you can repair Mia? Oh, yes, the language module. I can certainly take a look. Shelley is an outstanding mechanic. Mia is in totally safe hands. Don't worry. Go do what you gotta do.
Welcome to you both. I am Larson, Archon of District 7. Archon Elric has already informed us about Zeke. I've sent someone to investigate Miroria's travel log. If he really did come to the Vera region, he's most likely doing his best to stay under the radar. Larson, could Zeke be trapped in the Abyssant Field? I've considered that myself. Abyssant Field? What is that, Larson? Some powerful Abyssants can generate a localized space-time abnormally around themselves. A field through which they can roam around in real space. Follow me. samples in these cultivation tanks were taken from a defeated powerful abyssant. We call them Christomaxes, and they're crucial to the field ability of an abyssant. Each one has its own unique characteristics, so the field ability of each abyssant will likewise be different. These samples are priceless. By studying them, we can gain a deeper understanding of both abyssant biological traits and field abilities. Once a Christomax is removed from an Abyssin's body, however, they start to lose their bioactivity. These three samples have already lost their value for research. Only the strongest powerful Abyssins are able to form this special structure. Is there anything we can do to help? Archon Elric has provided us with advanced spatial monitoring technology, which Larson is currently working out how to use to monitor Abyssin activity. I would like to invite you two to join us. The sooner we can complete our abyssant research, the sooner we can find clues about Zeke. Lynn, while I have every confidence in your work, our two guests are strangers here. Unfamiliar as they are with abyssants, be a little cautious in asking them to help with the hunt so quickly. Understood, Archon. You'll be responsible for the Executor and Shirley. Please ensure- No need to worry. Everything's already ar- After such a busy day, I'm sure you two must be tired. With me, me, uh, my, n my name is Mia. Hmm, doesn't seem like it's a particularly serious problem. Me, Mia, try this. Shelly, Shirley, Shelly, Shirley, Shirley, Shelly, Shirley, Shelly, Shirley, Shirley. Come on, Shelly, that's too difficult. Hmm. Have you found a way to fix Mia's problem, Shelly? Even though I'm not particularly familiar with this model of smart servant, I reckon there can't be much of a difference with our smart droids. Huh? No need to worry. I'll let you know immediately if there's any progress. the environment and climate here yet? I'm just a bit surprised how you can sustain a huge city in such an arid desert. Mororia has a comprehensive resource recovery system. Allocations of food, water, and energy are all strictly regulated. And 20 years ago, our scientists attempted to fashion a better environment for the people here. They were this close to succeeding. Abyssins caused this inhospitable desert? Abyssins destroyed many ecological stations on the surface. 
forcing us to stop our terraforming project. The people here have been through- The Mororia Archives preserves many historical- Well, that's lucky. As I'm curious to learn more about this place. Wanna come with me? Okay, let's go. Here we are, the Mororia Archives. There are many exhibits inside which can help you better understand the history of this land. Are you not coming with us, Lin? I'm sorry, but I just received a message from headquarters. Something's come up which needs me to help remotely. You two go on ahead. Once I've taken care of my task, I'll meet you both back here when you're done.
these exhibits. I've never seen so many things from the past, all of even though I have heard the heirs of Ida talk about the past many times, I hope that one day people's suffering ends. There's still a way to go- Yes. We have a lot to do. Do you still want to look around? All done? I saw so many different things. Considering I heard Samir once say that your world has mountains and oceans, glaciers and snowfields. I hope there comes a day when all of this is behind us that I can visit Asperia and witness such beautiful scenery with my own eyes. It would be our honor to have you. I'll take that as a form of sure. Your accommodation is being processed. Please wait a moment. Thank you, Lynn. You're welcome. I'll be in Mororia for a while, and hope I can help get you accustomed to things here. 
Especially since taking on the Grace Base entities won't be easy. Don't run too far, Ruby. Okay. Would you say Ruby's important to you, Lynn? Ruby was entrusted to me by an old friend before she left. I swore that I'd look after her. We're the same there. We each have someone we don't want to let down. Thank you. 
Miss Shelley, has Mia been fixed? Um, well, incident? Have a look for yourself, Mia. Me? Me? Huh? Why can't... Uh... Mia's model was discontinued before the Cataclysm. Our language module is incompatible with her core system, so I thought to modify it a little bit. The result, though... Me? Shelly, I know it's my fault. But please, rest assured, I'll do everything in my... I'm going to give Mia an all-around upgrade. Mia's core system is powered by Omnium. But Mororia abandoned Omnium as an energy source decades ago. Seeing as I don't have any on hand, could I possibly bother you to... Um, help me get some? The thing is, Omnium reserves are scarce throughout the Vera region.
Ah, Executor. How can I help? We're hoping to gather some Omnium, Director Ava. Omnium? Miss Shelley is helping us repair Mia, but she is a pre-cataclysm model that only- I'm terribly sorry. While I do indeed have some Omnium reserves, it's needed to keep the Space Rift operating, and in case of any emergency. Is there any other way for us to get our hands- Vera's Omnium reserves were gradually depleted after the Cataclysm. Nowadays, we can only extract a tiny bit of Trace Omnium. Trace Omnium? Due to accumulation and concentration, some creatures build up a small amount of Trace Omnium in their bodies. If you don't need all that much, you could try extracting it from these creatures. Zero is helping us design and build a brand new Omnium extraction device. Hold your horses. I still need some time to upgrade the system. Shirley, Meryl. Zero. Has Samir responded? Hmm. Meryl, we've run into a little trouble here. Trouble? We... We found some kind of weird egg that might have been left by the Grayspace Entities. I worry there might be a group of Grayspace Entities hidden nearby. Could I trouble you Zero's to... Zero's in the middle of something. And I can't leave the research station. Oh, um, well, what about the Executor and Shirley? Could you come, please? Fine. We're on our way. Thank you. I'll send you the coordinates. See you soon.
Executor, Shirley, my thanks for your- Is this the egg? I'm so curious. Samir, this may well be a Grayspace entity. Is there anything we can do to- There's a lot of Grayspace entity activity nearby. So, before the Mirroria Reclaimers arrive- <sighs> You're so tiresome. Trying to get out of work again? Hey, did you hear that noise? Hmm. Look, something's moving inside. It seems like... You're nothing. Samir? Ugh, I told you to be careful. Something got out. Put up and go after it. like that's its real form then and everything else is just illusions Let's head back and meet up with everyone. <laughs> 